Hello, I'm James Strappin, Deputy Editor of The Medicine Maker, and here I virtually sit down with Sean Walker from Johnson Mathey to discuss COVID-19 and the future of drug manufacturing, which he thinks will be smaller, faster and safer. To begin with then, uh, please could you introduce yourself and explain what you do at Johnson Mathey? Yeah, thanks James. My name is Sean Walker. I'm the Vice President of Development Operations at Johnson Mathey and the Development Operations team is really the science and development engine of JM's health sector. So it consists of chemical process development, analytical research and development, solid form and particle engineering, and new product introduction for active pharmaceutical ingredients and finished dosage forms. So how is uh, JM helping customers to accelerate and advance drug development? So I think that we're entering a period of scientific convergence where the winners are going to be the organizations that can bring together as wide and diverse an array of scientific expertise as possible to tackle really difficult problems. We're fortunate at JM, we have over 1500 R&D scientists um, in our various sectors working on electrochemistry, battery materials, catalysis, fuel cells, you know, lots of amazing science. So we've got this broad scientific expertise across JM, and we've also got broad expertise across the organization that engages in life sciences research. So with all of this experience, we can really leverage that through our internal teams, as well as to support our clients or our partners. And we can really be a one-stop shop for expertise in chemical synthesis and analysis, chemocatalysis, so that could be either homogeneous or heterogeneous catalysis. And you know, Johnson Matthey already produces uh, a lot of transition metal catalysts. That includes biocatalysis, including the ability to perform directed evolution of enzymes if needed, material science, computational modeling, or even particle engineering. So overall, through this, uh, you know, there's really this convergence of skills and capabilities within a single integrated scientific organization. We can drive faster product development, create better, greener manufacturing processes, and really drive drug development forward. Uh, so obviously, there's a bit of a move towards you know, personalized uh, medicine. How is JM sort of responding to that trend? Yep, well, in line with the growth in precision and personalized medicines, we're continuing to invest in designing our facilities to support a flexible, modular, small molecule API manufacturing, handling of potent compounds. And so part of this is going to uh, include the implementation of uh, advanced manufacturing or enabling technologies like continuous manufacturing or flow chemistry which should help us shorten production cycle times, enhance safety and assure product quality. In addition, we will be uh, leveraging uh, increasingly the use of predictive modeling to reduce uh, experimental iterations and really get things done right the first time and overall just accelerate development throughout the cycle. How has Johnson Mathey adapted to the challenges of COVID-19? I'm very proud of the way we've adapted to the challenges of COVID-19 at JM. So our, our top priority is always the health and safety of our employees and anyone who visits our facilities. So we've been carefully monitoring the COVID-19 situation as it's evolved uh, and we're following local government guidelines and we're adapting our ways of working by uh, providing flexibility for staff in non-manufacturing roles to work remotely. So as a result of these measures, uh, you know, really to reduce worker density our, at our sites, and other controls, including uh, use of masks, uh, you know, frequent sanitization of common areas. Our drug development and manufacturing facilities have remained in operation and supplying medicines uh, throughout the pandemic. Do you think COVID-19 has changed the industry forever? I think that COVID-19 has helped to accelerate uh, some of the trends that have been in place for a while, like the use of uh, you know, di digital tools and video conferencing for remote working. But I think specifically for the pharmaceutical industry, the pandemic has highlighted some of the fragility uh, in the global pharmaceutical supply chain. So for a long time now, companies have been focusing on you know, supply chain efficiency, you know, uh, lean inventories, just in time manufacturing. And I think we're starting to see a move towards more of a balance now between supply chain efficiency and uh, the overall robustness of the supply chain. It's really a bit of a shift from a just-in-time manufacturing to a just-in-case manufacturing paradigm that really tries to manage the risk of over-reliance in any one geographic area. 
So do you have any thoughts on the future of drug manufacturing? So I think the future will be smaller, faster, safer, and better, but it will be more complex. So we're going to need uh, you know, new techniques, new ways of working. When I say smaller, I mean there's going to be lower drug volumes needed because as we develop personalized medicines, they're going to be used in you know, smaller numbers of patients, but they'll be more targeted, so they'll be more effective for those patients. Faster means there's pressure to shorten development cycle times because the competition in our industry is intense and patients are waiting for the drugs. Safer because both uh, the drugs and the processes that we use uh, to make them are expected to be safer than ever before. Uh, better meaning, I mean, we're entering an amazing period in human history. We are seeing now, and we're gonna to continue to see, science really delivering better drugs and therapies that can treat disease and even cure disease. And all of this is gonna to lead to a more complex uh, environment. It's gonna be, you know, there's already a large number of both structurally complex synthetic molecules that are advancing. There's increasing number of biologic molecules that are being developed, and there's many new large and small molecule pairings. Like ADCs, there's the rise of uh, RNAs, targeted protein degraders. So lots of really interesting new modalities. So it's probably you know, never been harder or more exciting to work in drug development, but the future is gonna be amazing.